everyone! I'm Lily, and welcome back to Lily Does More uh, Stuff She'd Be Doing Anyway on uh, doing some dev work on Librarian Adele. Uh, we did last time, we did some stuff with the Cobb categorization system, which is all about how we organize books, and uh, this time we are going to be actually writing some books, or titles of books. Um, because I mean, it's a game about building libraries, there needs to be lots of books, and someone's got to write descriptions and uh, titles and their authors and stuff like that. And uh, that person is me. Um, so, uh, yeah, now let's, uh, I mean, I'll switch off our screens here, and we will just hop right into it. Alrighty here. So, this is the page that, uh, we put um, our books into. And I'm not going to flip through these tabs because that has some stuff and I don't necessarily want to reveal all this information right now. Um, kind of what I'm doing with these videos and what we're truly using is subjects and things I would do that I can contribute part of the process and how we do that without necessarily lifting the veil too much on how these things uh, work. And if I was to like, just show you the list of all the religious books, there's some stuff there. But generally how we organize with the group is we list uh, books that we're adding that are brand new in this one. This is the publishing tab. And they fill out this form. And then usually when I do ever push an update, I'll look here, make sure there's nothing new that needs to be added, and then I'll add it. Uh, thing I do every day though, or it, yeah, every day pretty much so far, uh, for like the last week or so, is trying to get 10 new books a day. Uh, because we want a lot of them. Uh, and because, I mean, it's a game about building a library, so obviously we need like lots of different books that we can collect, and uh, we want a large enough span where, honestly, kind of I see it as there will be some books, and I haven't implemented this yet, but they're kind of like the core books that are like, these are books that definitely everyone will see that like are important pieces of lore, um, a lot of the more readable books and stuff like that, but a lot of the side ones and flavor ones, uh, unless you're really going for that completionist angle, it kind of be one of those things where you're not actually going to collect all the books, and there's just always more you can add to the library. Uh, so one thing, if you scroll down all the way down here, is my secret area. This is a tin uh, set aside, and this is the area that I fill every day. Uh, I just do it at the bottom, because I'll often do these over the course of the day and leave things like half completed, and if someone wants to put something in here, I don't want my stuff to be messing up that area, so put it down here. Uh, so, a book is comprised of several components, and I forgot to open a new book. Uh, ignore my start menu. Uh, oh, and that's a lot of the book stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not the end of the world if you see too much of it, if you really want to get into it. Um, ignore this, this isn't what we needed. Uh, book is essentially this we take, this is what we're taking here, and it just gets implemented as code just like this, which is, and then it goes into one of these, I know, arts, or, or which one is low? Magical sciences have it many. Um, essentially gets put in here, and that is what, when we go over here to um, this, do, 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 which is the game, which we've added a lot of new stuff, and I don't want to maximize on play. Let's do that so we can actually see the stuff. Um, but uh, it loads all the books as part of the loading process. I've done a fair amount uh, since my last video that I recorded last week. Um, the latest thing was adding the date. Ooh, you can now... I don't remember if you can move before. You can now move. I made the clock nicer and all that works. And it shows the date now. I have a debug tool to progress time and it actually calculates the date properly and gives you the day of the week and stuff like that. It was... Ooh, anything involving time is real annoying. Uh, <laughs> this one, right? Currently, I'm working on getting this a dialogue event system working, but that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, but uh, yeah, we put them on here, and it kind of just reads these lines. But I tried to make this super easy and like understandable, where it's like you don't have to be a programmer to understand how this works. Like you put the book name here. That's just how internally it's named. Here, look, put the title, description, index, author, um, has premium, that's if a book has a premium edition, 
I think most of the games in the base game will have premium editions, uh, just because it's just one of those core mechanics, but it doesn't have to. Uh, and premium name and description. And actually, one thing I added support for just today was now you can also say sprite um, and overwrite the sprite because currently they get their sprites get um, assigned like by default based on their cop class. Uh, but uh, I'm not doing that right now because I don't have unique sprites for these yet. Um, and for the sprite, you just essentially just put the name of the sprite file uh, that is in the items resource folder, whether in the base game or in a mod if you're using a mod, uh, and we'll overwrite the sprite. And uh, yeah, so that's not what we need to do, but we're not really working on the implementation, we're working on the writing part of it. Um, and like I said, I try to get 10 of these every day because you know, just gotta hammer them out. It's, we want, our goal is by the beta to have about a thousand books, and we're actually already over a hundred, so we're actually doing pretty good, uh, but we're just making making that every time. Um, so the components that we are doing and kind of the columns here is first off is the cob number or it's really the cob index uh, and not really a number necessarily and that is actually what we worked on last time. The last video we did this was filling out this and this has greatly expanded uh, since then. Um, suffix genre that's essentially just whatever the relative one is essentially just to be like okay None of us have the cob in the cob categorization system memorized. It's just like, hey, well, what's the actual? What does that mean? What does this index mean? Even if like the game knows what this index means, it doesn't know how to how it goes. So this kind of determines where it gets organized in the library and provides some a little bit more sense of order. Uh, title that is self-explanatory. Uh, author author is I mean the who wrote it in game. Uh, dev is essentially for. All the books we're writing out now are non-readable, for the time being at least, uh, meaning that you can have them in game, you can uh, collect them, you can put them in your library, but if you right-click on them, they'll just give you like this, the description, which is like, hey, it'll be a little blurb on what is this book about, but you can't actually read the book. Uh, and But eventually, because we don't have the writing resources right now, and I we really haven't sat down and done it too much, and I haven't implemented it yet. Uh, some books uh, you'll be able to open up and read, like kind of things like games like Skyrim and the other Elder Scrolls games and other like, uh, not really Dragon Age because Dragon Age doesn't really have it, but essentially you'll be able to like actually open up and actually read a bit of in-universe writing. Because uh, I mean, it's a book game about a library. There should be things to read that isn't just a short description. Um, and the def here just means, hey, if you have written this book, or if you want to write this book and want to be like, no, no one else can write this, uh, they can claim it right there. Uh, next up is the proofs, as the premium description title description. Uh, the premium versions of books have the same author and the same genre and everything like that, but essentially it's just a little bit of fancier version of book that's much rarer to get. It's kind of like the shiny version of book, uh, like in Pokemon. Uh, and having it gives more renown for collecting in your library, or if it's part of a set, it will give you extra bonuses. There's this thing called book sets that also has not been implemented that essentially, if you collect a bunch of like, there's a key book, and once you unlock the key book, you'll learn about this collection, and then it's like, okay, if you collect these required books and X of these optional books, you unlock a, just a static bonus for your character and your library, and it unlocks that, so it's like, and it could be things, something simple as like, oh, you get plus 5% like, uh, I don't know, gardening XP, or you get, uh, like, it unlocks the ability to, like, if you collect a bunch of, like, the, the children's theology books to, like, uh, set up a uh, class for, of children's theology and stuff like that. Um, so you can have your nice, you can set up your Sunday school or whatever, but it's not Sunday because there's no Sunday. Uh, yeah, but in the premium name description is just kind of like, um, that was a tangent, but the premium name description is for exactly that. It's it's kind of the, what is the fancier one's name? How is it different? And description is usually the same as this description, but with like a little tag on like, what makes this one special? Uh, filing notes, this is just random if we have a note to make on it that doesn't qualify near. And doesn't this isn't incorporated into the data, it's just kind of there. Uh, 
But yeah, so let us start. And the first thing I normally do every night is I start in the cop index and I just kind of choose 10 indices that I want to use. And ooh, when I did that before, when I started the last video, this was five pages long. It's 20 pages long and I'm not even done. Like natural sciences, I still gotta flesh out. Uh, technology, I still gotta flesh out. Social sciences, I still mostly gotta flesh out. Bibliomancy is pretty good, except the bibliomancy itself, like the magical portion, I have to set out because I've been waiting for doing magical sciences. Um, literature is pretty good. Actually, you know, I think literature is fine, just because you don't really need to differentiate literature that much. Uh, religion is actually good. I recently had religion, but religion is also very long. Also, I've written so many religion books. Um, history, which is uh, just kind of... they're history books. That's exactly what you think. Um, and that one is... I need to flesh it out a little bit, especially like geography um, and some of these other ones and kind of flesh out history, but that's a lot of world building to figure out like what the categories of history are. And we just gotta figure it out. Um, magical sciences. Uh, this one is just one I haven't fleshed out yet. And I'm going to do the other sciences because I've been doing a lot of research, like how does like the like Library of Congress and Dewey Decimals and handle these subjects. And kind of using that as the baseline for this one. And I kind of want to mirror the magic ones to be like the normal one, those. And I just haven't done that yet. And this will obviously go off soon to Bibliomancy because it's like Bibliomancy, honestly, everything there could be probably going to like social sciences, technology, and uh, magical sciences. But Bibliomancers made the system and they thought they were special enough to need their own section. Ah, the arts. I need to flesh out a lot. Um, and philosophy is actually done. I actually spend a lot of time doing philosophy uh, and getting that done. So let's just go through and figure out which 10 I want and see which speak to me. Uh, one thing I did do is that all the highlighted ones are essentially categories that don't have any books assigned to them. So these are categories that are just there in the system and we differentiate them, but there's no actual books assigned to them. And I do kind of want to have one category for each. Um, like at least one book for each uh, field that is defined. Uh, so let's see what we want to do. I don't really want to talk about logic. Logic it's boring. Same with math. I don't like math. I had to research math to do this and it was annoying. Um, epistemology is interesting, but I don't remember what all of these mean. Um, so I'm gonna skip that. Uh, do, 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 do. That's a car. I'm not going to edit this out. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's do... Let's do a book on time, because I feel like a book on time could actually be interesting. Um, on like the nature of time, because I think there's actually some, another one I want to do that actually could go well into that. So it's time. Um, and we can say, hey, we're actually covering that. And I want to do recursivism and parallelism. Um, so we have that. Oops, no, I want to copy that. I don't want to override the uh, formatting of these. And I believe it's is it recursism first or parallelism? Um, recursism and parallelism are two different uh, theories of how because like the, a lot of um, the metaphysics and kind of the also theology of the people of Uai revolves around this idea of the story. There is this great story that unites everything, and existence is just a bunch of stories that are just like strewn about where the Lyrae and the Wowrae combine and the reason for like existence and stuff and each universe is its own like self-contained story and recursivism and parallelism is kind of two different schools thought of how that is structured where parallelism just says all these stories just kind of exist they are their own thing they exist in different like they exist sim kind of simultaneously. There's a real hierarchy to them. Recursivism says that every story is linked to its parent story, where every story is actually created by another world 
and you have this hierarchy of stories where you're slowly getting less and less real and it's kind of this really linkage of creation and whatnot and like the top of that goes to the divine realms where the gods live and whatnot um and those are like the two main uh main uh main ones uh Okay, I don't want to talk about ethics. You know, I don't, I'm not a big philosophy person. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, I mean, the histories, there's a lot of these histories, and like, since they're very easy to write, there's so many different history books to write, and I've been, you know, I'm just kind of going to skip those for now. Um, we haven't really done art. This isn't really a flesh out portion. Um, no, let's do an act. Let's, uh, Let's let's oh, well, let's sorry, let's do a script of act an act, um, acts being essentially meaning it's a one act so sing standalone acts or scenes in um, in a theater. Oops, that's not it. One uh, Google Sheets likes to do this thing where it's like uh, it'll acts it'll I do something with my keyboard and it adds additional like center and I'm not actually sure what happens but it's kind of this weird thing where it's like I know if I'm typing it'll cause this weird thing um and I, of course I can't replicate it if I'm doing that um but it'll create this extra space and it'll like pop it out and I don't want it to do that and I don't actually know what causes it even though I'm like I know a gut feeling I mean it's gonna happen so scripts of acts um I just decided that musical theater was a thing in this universe, even though the time period doesn't super uh, fit it. Uh, wait, we have the scripts of musical theaters. We had the hundred handed. Yeah, no. What? Let me just double check. Uh, to do. Because if we go to arts and gay, you get to see the arts. Um, yeah, it's super shiny. The silver shorts for a lock. Yeah, no. Okay, I just forgot to undo that. Um, where am I? Okay, cool. All right, so do do do. Okay, magic do do. This is the one that you can maybe like flesh out. We can do history. Um, well, let's just do like a very nice like high level. What is magic book? Because that could be pretty. A lot of these books are just the very genetic, because we're only doing the top levels of these, because it's like, oh look, it's this generic history of magical sciences, or like this very generic modern history one, that it's these very hot top end, um, high, high end, like, gen broad overview books, and not a lot of the specialist stuff, but uh, that'll get broken up a bit more once we get like a lot of these base ones out of the way and we get like the one of every uh, established uh, field. Um, wait, history books. Mm -hmm. You know what, let's do... Let's do something on the dim days. The dim days were about a hundred ago. First of all, there's the last day. The last day was when um, on Illwai magic just stopped working just completely and totally it's just stopped working and it caused the collapse of uh, the Illuminan civilization and the dead days were about the hundred years after the last day which was um essentially where most of the population well I mean, most of the population died over like the first like week after the last day uh but just kind of like the just essentially migrating away from the band, which is this huge city that spanned the equator, and kind of spreading out and like re- just kidding with everything, because all of their food production was linked to magic and all this other stuff, and it was just this massive time of chaos, and just, it was not a good time. Um, hey, how many more do we got? We gotta find four more subjects? Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um... Let's do one on this uh, heresy. It's it's called the test of the first day, and it is a heresy which essentially says, um, yep, which essentially says that the last day was actually the literal creation of this universe, and that everything, bef all the ruins and stuff, 
are were kind of just like stage dressing. They were purposefully placed there um, as kind of just like, oh, that's just the initial conditions of this world, and nothing actually existed before them. Like all the heroes and stuff we hear about, all the stories of Aethwell, they were just like she just placed there, but didn't the, the world didn't actually exist then. Um, the penitent of all. Okay. You know, let's, I have so many religion ones, and just, I can talk about religion forever, because, oh wow, I love religion. Um, but, uh, I mean, like, talking about religion and stuff like that. Uh, let's do, a, let's do a poetry collection. That can be fun. Um, who doesn't love a little poetry? Uh... And this is, of course, modern poetry, because it's like, okay, there's ancient poetry, historical poetry. Historical poetry is essentially defined historic times or anything before um, the Penitent Civil War, which is about 150 years ago. So all this is modern stuff. Um, do do do. And let's get a like, let's get in a young adult novel. That sounds fun. Uh, do do. Oops. No. Nope. Keep doing that. Okay. Don't know how to spell adolescent, so I'm just gonna copy you here. Do, do, do. Um, the reason I do this is that I could like be searching these around and like trying to think of it. Act, be like, oh, I don't want to put a uh, field thing on them to like actually have thought of a book for it. And I like just kind of like locking into some things and just being like, nope, that is what we're doing. Um, let's do some, and uh, maybe do some. You know, let's do more literature or. Mm, unless I see something else, bibliomancy, uh, linguistics, revolution. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's interesting to me. Um, do, 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 journalism. Ooh, analytical bibliography. You know what? Let's do that. Um, let's do analytical bibliography. Bibliography is a real field, and essentially it's the study of books, but not so much its contents, but the actual like creation of them, or creation and materials used by them. Um, and you know, we've locked into our subjects. You know what? Goodbye. Um, also, do you need to be here? No, you don't. Okay, that's just... Okay. Well, we are 20 minutes in, and we haven't written a single book. You know what? That happens. Um, Alright, so we have our subjects. Now we're just going to go over these subjects, and also I'm going to do a quick just sort of these. Um, not that they actually sort correctly, because it's like these aren't the, the alphabetical order, is not the actual order that they're presented in books, but it's fine. Okay, so let us talk about... Okay, so recursivism. And so what would be a good book on recursivist thought? Um, this is where I normally then go lay down and just kind of like uh, grind my head against the wall until I think of something. But I'm on camera, so I'm not going to do that. And now this is when Lily does creative writing on camera and can't think of anything. Um, okay, so let's just think, okay, what do we need? Recursivism, parallelism. So we need two philosophy books kind of talking about these subjects. They don't have to be the subject as a whole, um, but more about kind of like, I don't know. Do, do, do. What if, okay, what about for parallels and we did like that, like something like, for the title, I like the abstract names, like not, okay, let's have one abstract name and then there's just one boring name. And like this recursivism is just going to be called Oh, no, no, because I already had a book that was Recursive and Parallelism, so I can't just put it as Recursive Bear. Um, so let's put, okay, so time, time, a study. Um, actually, no, let's do, let's do, like, time. Let's call it, like, time. Like, time of stories. Because, like, like, we can have it as, like, a book on, um, the relationship between like on like it probably will tie into like these kind of like metaphysics because like um which is kind of like exploring this question of 
how does our time relate to the time of the other realms and specifically the realms of the gods and so like that because that's who really matters um that time of be our like time of being um times of realities okay so we have an idea for that so let's go with that i'm not gonna reserve this or anything I right, so it's an account it is a a a pondering i've really had to go into the source for the like a blank talking about blah 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 um so a pondering a pondering as a a pondering and exploration as to the uh, as pondering and exploration in re the rate and flow of flow of time of our cosmos. other yeah, just small simple a pondering the, the, and exploration in regards to the rate of the flow, rate and flow of time of our cosmos in relation to the realms outside of our own uh, it's short it's simple it's great that's a good just we'll keep it there um okay so Parallelism and you know, let's call it like the archipelago. Archipelago. I don't know if I spelled that right. I don't think I did. I don't care about you. Do, do, do. Archipelago. Nope, I didn't spell that right. And if I was to just do the like the hey do a full spell check it'll pick up a lot of stuff that isn't that but i got it do 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 that's how you spell archipelago oh yeah i knew how to spell it all along definitely did not just open up one note to look that up although i guess you can very much see that i just did that um <laughs> uh so the archipelago and uh The theory of the alignment of worlds, which posits that all worlds exist in more or less uh, equal stature. It's more of a reality, and so like more or less equal stature. the thing with the thing that I don't like. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, okay. Um Don't know why it does that, but it does. Then exploration is the parallel theory of the alignment of worlds, which posits that all worlds exist in more or less equal stature with them uh, with no definite connections among themselves. Sweet. Like I said, and the recursivism, oh, what's a nice snooty philosophy to book name? So we're talking about like, because is a well, it's very hierarchical, hierarchical, um, it's very layered, um, Ooh, nope, that doesn't work. That I'm not putting a Shrek reference. I'm not calling it the onion of reality. I'm I'm not above putting references in my stuff, but I am above putting Shrek references into my stuff. Uh not sure. 
layers of being. Uh, and I'll come back to, we're coming back to author. Um, so, and some of them will, some of them will say like, hey, this is talking about like this book. Other ones, description will be like, say like, such and such says, you know, like, I like this one, an excerpt from the book. So, uh, is now however this not all things have a source, and the source of worlds is naturally other worlds. However, this process is without exception. So it's kind of like, okay, here's an excerpt. All things have a source, and the source of worlds is, naturally, other worlds. However, this process is imperfect, and the created world is, without exception, lesser in its reality, to a degree. And kind of just being like, hey, this is a cool thing, and like, it kind of gives a good idea of like, what is this book about? We're talking about how worlds are stacked down, and like, there's this hierarchy about them. And that's what we're going for there. Um, okay, so we got our philosophy books out of the way. So now, okay, analytical bibliography. Um, what if this was like about Ilwin, like the pre-day people? And kind of talking about like a book on, it's like talking about how like most Ilwin books were essentially just luxuries. They weren't really useful. Like actual data storage was done in like essentially the magical equivalent of like computers and stuff that stopped working at the last day and all their data was lost. So it's like, it's both kind of talking about like, hey, all the examples of Ilwin like works and stuff, these were luxuries. Like these weren't, these were, uh, it was a lot of uh, mostly things like literature and stuff like that. It was like the people who like to have like hardcover novels of like their favorite books and stuff. They're not, it's not actually like the hard, good like data that you would expect otherwise. Uh, so, okay, what about it was like, okay, the luxury. Uh, the luxury of parchment. I well, I think I think paper's fine, or the luxury of print. Um, an analysis of the books. Most and, and the analysis of the books and bookkeeping in the Ilmen Empire, and how most which have and Actually, I think these, like, if you're talking about, like, oh, how they were considered luxuries and why that's something, mean, that's not analytical bibliography. Um, that is more about, that's more of a history thing. We're talking about, like, okay, like, the more historical, like, how did they use book, how were their relationship with books, not really the physical thing. Um, and modern attempts of the, uh, modern attempts of recreating they're printing, not not printing, um, replication process, because um, kind of one of the ideas of 
this university. There's no printing press. Um, essentially, how books are replicated is not via like, oh, we don't have movable type because, I mean, you could, but they don't um, because it's a lot, a lot less like they, they could, but the, the better option is that they have essentially this branch of bibliomancy is uh, book replication. Um, and essentially what they do is they take an original copy of a book and then they get a blank book and the necessarily inks, materials, and other things are doing it, and they can essentially copy over that text. So much faster than writing it, but um, essentially page by page you can essentially have a, like a few people here, essentially copying that text over very quickly. So essentially they can essentially kind of write very quickly with like perfect accuracy and all that. So you can't call it printing books because that's not what's happening. It is replicating books. Um, and even if the Inland Empire had printing, they'd probably still, like, the people nowadays would probably not call it printing, because they don't really have an idea of what printing is. It is replication. Um, and that's how you go way too deep into world building. Um, okay, adolescent literature. Okay, what's the biggest young adult novel? Um, oh, okay, and this can be anything. This can be genre. Like, the, the general adult genres are broken up, but, um, this can be really anything. Um, okay, let's make it like, okay, set during the dimmed days. Uh, like, it is it is like a romance of like a couple who like are fleeing the band. And uh, yeah, okay, what's a good young adult novel name? And again, like, we're not trying, like, some of these are just kind of like, yeah, it doesn't actually really fit the, um, the time period, but things for a lot of like kind of like art forms and stuff like that is that they actually have examples of these from before where it's it's not like it's not like the the concept of a hey this is young adult fiction isn't necessarily something that uh uh like the thing is the, the idea is that they had to relearn a lot of technology stuff because magic fundamentally changed how it works and stuff like that and they had to refigure all that out and that caused a lot of things like hunger and scarcity and that caused like the existence of scarcity they've regressed a lot of social progress and stuff like that and they've been working back on that uh, but when it comes to actual like social knowledge and stuff and like especially for things that are easy to pick up like the concept of YA literature they didn't have to reinvent that like all you need is someone who speaks really well the ancient language and finds an eight young adult uh, finds enough of the young adult novels they've written, um, like and you know what you'll be able to uh, like you'll be like hey this is a thing that exists let's adapt it for that modern age and it doesn't require that much adapting, um, so something like that when it's being reclaimed is is a lot better and. Uh, over the past hundred years, there's been a lot of like reclaiming of like ill win things, because before the, the Penitent and Fall ruled over Cordoval, and they were very much anti Ilwyn, and now everyone's like, you know, we're gonna swing the pendulum far back the other way because you were being no fun. So now we get our bad post apocalyptic fiction. Um, okay, what's the name for this? Let's just write the description goes about that. A uh, a tale of two young lovers caught in the chaos of the last day. A tale of two lovers caught in the chaos of the last day. Uh, as world they once knew collapses all around them. They lose their home, uh, their home, their friends, their home, their friends, uh, and, uh, something else like, and, uh, like uh, they're home the room. And their dreams. But will they lose 
each other. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so cool. So it's, 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 a uh, bad, like, kind of like, not bad, but like, it's a young adult novel. Um, and kind of like a romance thing, for like, oh, look, everything's dying. Um, what's a good name for this? Like, I don't want this to go way too, like, modern with the names and stuff. Um, Okay, what if it's just like a, a name of um, something that doesn't mean... Oh, what if, okay, what if we made actually made a reference, like Rin. Rin was the moon of uh, Iwa, uh, Iwai, but um, Iwai has two moons, but had two moons. But uh, Rin was actually extensively like mined and stuff like that, and when the last day happened, all the magic turned off. Oh, it was kind of being held together, kind of just with like magical support and stuff, and it kind of started to implode and fractured apart because it had been extensively mined out to build the band, um, and it kind of collapsed. And over the last millennia, it's kind of started reformed into like a a actual like um, a a minor ring, uh, but uh, when like. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, good, 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 good. Like, um, do do do, like, oh, let's call it like oh, not hearts. I feel like hearts is too on the nose. Um, let's do, let's do it. Like Rin. Like Rin. Uh, no, there's this. You know, let's come back to this name because I'm not thinking of anything. Uh, okay, poetry collection. Uh, let's. So this is modern poetry. It's gonna be new. It's gonna be penitence gone. Ah, uh, do do do. Uh, to do Lament for Twaylon. It is a series of poems. Um, uh, this will actually be kind of like Twaylon was the old pendant capital, and kind of it could be like a series of poems, kind of like mourning the uh, fact that Sintiel came in after their day and be like. We don't like you guys because you kind of like occupied for a while, but you're now collapsed now, so we're going to invade you. Um, cool, that's just very simple. Limit for Twilight. It's a series of poems. We're sad. And we're gonna write some poetry about it, because that's that's what you do. You, you mean you're sad that your city got blew up, and so you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna write some poetry. And that's what they did for In the Lament for Twayon. Um Okay, magical sciences broad. Um Let's just call it magic. It's it's just a book called Magic. A high level. A high level introduction to the layman of all broad fields of magic and magical application. Magic and you. <laughs> um, I need the test of day. Test of day. Test of the day. Oh, uh, that's the cult. Um, so the cult. Um, strange beginnings. The 
at an extreme look into the odd beliefs. Um, like a lot of these like books and stuff, like they, they're very much like very much out, outsiders looking into these like worlds. Where I mean, I'm kind of trying to get the the. There is an extent of what I'm trying to recapture is like because we are basing this very much on these 17 or 17 and 1800s is a lot of the books it was very much these outsiders looking into these other groups and cultures and stuff and like essentially it's just talking about them themselves without really fully understanding or really having a full grasp of what these groups are so it's very much this outlooker oh look at these interesting people um kind of mentality where, where it was it was it was we are the normal people and like look at these weird outsiders um and also where I'm gonna talk about them and become the expert on these people that I'm not and uh kind of the beginnings of a lot of because I mean a lot of this is also like the beginnings of, like imperialism and stuff like that and kind of getting reflecting that in like a lot of the academic world as well because I mean let's be honest that this book like in this game um we're kind of looking at this universe through two angles one is there are conversations experiences with the people of this small town where you're going to this town and you're going to be doing like all that and whatnot and the second one is uh you're going to come there and uh is is through the academics these books that are written by the by the people of uh Dwellend and more broadly Cordwell uh and that's kind of how you're interacting with the world. It's it's very much not really going to be talking about like, oh, let's show the evils of imperialism up close and personal, but definitely get that perspective of the people who are so far removed, but are still part of the people who are perpetrating those things. Um, and kind of giving that perspective. And uh, that's kind of the lens that we're seeing this world through and can try and reflect that. And that's a tangent I went off on, but haven't really good look. Okay, so... Uh, of the group the test of uh, test of the day who is that be beliefs of the group, the test, the test of the day, who believed that the last day was actually the true beginning of reality, and nothing truly existed before that. I used true twice. Um, yeah, nothing existed before. So, uh, yeah, so strange beginnings, there we go. Um, again, for a lot of these, we don't need to be that complex, because, like, this is, like, okay, this is just a book that's kind of, like, hey, like, a lot of these will actually be kind of the more common books that you'll find, and it's like, let's introduce this concept of, this is these people, they're called the test of day, they're not super common, but hey, it is this religious, uh, religious heresy. Um, I mean, they're not, I mean, they're kind of heretical, they're, they're just more of a fringe group than, like, a true, like, heresy, it's not like the church of, uh, the faith, like, the church of, like, the gods are actually, like, the mainstream churches are like going after them, like, oh, those weird people who believe the day thing. Where generally the church is kind of chill when it comes to like interpretation of beliefs and stuff. Um, it's not like the the people who believe that who are uh, yes, there's a sixth of the gods and they're more against that. These weird people who are like, we disagree about when this story began. They're not as big of an issue. Um, like scripts of act. Let's think of a, let's think of one act play. Um, Uh, do do do. How about let's just say a a uh, let's call it like a day in a day in Doran, um, a day in Doran's, and Doran's will be like Doran's Crossing or something like that. And essentially, a day in Doran's, um, I just don't like Doran's, like, I like the alliteration, 
Um, Dan Dennis. Dan Dennis is, uh, I'm thinking, okay, it's like a one act, it's an, a one act play that, like, it is centered on, like, the, uh, like, the town square of this town, Dennis, and it might be a real town, it may not, it may not, uh, and it just kind of is, is showing kind of, it's kind of like this, like, slice of life, let's see all these people as they go about and kind of the things going on, and, I don't know, maybe something's going on, so, uh, one, a, a single act, uh, mm -hmm. so it will set in the square of the town. Uh, set a single a single act play set in the square of the town of Dennis, uh, following of the slightly eccentric Single, I don't like a single act. I think I just, just call it a one act. Like I was like a single. Let's call it a one act. It's like one act. Um, and one act. A one act. I think it's a one act because and because it starts with a vowel, but it is one is in W. One's a weird word. Um. A one-act play set in the square of the town of Dennis, following the happenings of the slightly eccentric residence on one fateful day. Like, we don't need to go into a full synopsis. This is what it's about. Hey, there's some kind of weird people in this town, and hey, look, uh, there's something that happen. And uh, we don't gotta say more than that. If we write the play one day, sure. But let's be honest player probably doesn't care that much more than that. It's just like, hey, it's another play for their library. Um, but uh, having the variety in genres uh, is, is the more important thing. Where they, like, Let's be honest, the thing that matters, it's a one-act play, and that's what they care about. Like, okay, this is a play, we're collecting a play, that's what things. This is a tale of two lovers, um, a series of poems, a high-level introduction to the lame, er, oh, not to the layman, for the layman, to the broad fields. Gotta keep your prepositions right. Um, okay, and let's do a history book. The Dimmed Days. Um, let's actually talk about Rin. Um, the Chaos of Rin. Or, like, the... How do you spell throws? Like throws of death. Um, throws. Yep, that's right. Um, throws of rain. Let's make this one a quote. Um, in the wake. In the wake of the day, of the day. Um, Eldwa the God of Death had still had still more uh, more like, like signs like like uh,
uh, as they tore the moon rin. In the wake of the day, Eldwa had still more declarations to make to mortal kind, and they tore the moon of Rin apart in the stage of the heavens. And essentially, okay, so this is a book about how Rin was destroyed, um, and kind of like how this was just like this huge omen of doom to the, the people. Um, and there we are. Okay, so we still need a name for the adolescent literature and the authors. I've been going on for almost an hour already. I don't think I'm doing the premium titles and stuff. Um, anyway, you know what, those are kind of a secret where it's like, okay, you know what, if you want to find out what the premium titles, you gotta go and get lucky in the game yourself or look at the kung fu files. One of the two. <laughs> okay, but adolescent lurcher. Uh, Ah, uh, do 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 do. It's like youth and chaos. <laughs> sure, it's dumb. It's bad. But if you've seen the young adult literature, their names aren't great. I so names. Uh, and this is why I have the sheet up. I'm not gonna scroll up because there are actual spoiler stuff up there. This is the glossary of our dev guide. Um, but that's what we're here for. We're here for this part. The people that don't matter, it's the minor people. And these are things like random authors, historians, bibliomancers, essentially anyone who's been mentioned in a book is here, but doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's name, let's name some authors. Uh, so, okay, let's just think about when they happened. Because um, essentially there's modern figures and historical figures. Let's do the historical ones first, because those are the easiest, because they have more distinctive names. Um, right, recursivism and parallelism, these are probably giving more recent names, and same with time. Um, this one has to be post-day, um, and essentially the difference is that there we have naming schemes for Ilwin people, for like pre-day people, and kind of the closer you get to modern times, in modern times you get real names, or like names that Typically, the idea is like make sure the name would make sense. Like, hey, would the same feel out of place in a Victorian novel? No, that is great. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, Young and Chaos is that is definitely kind of a uh, that's going to be a modern because I mean, if it was an actually like, pre day book, it would be put in the three day section, not the adolescent literature section. Um, that is that like, poetry, I think that is also it has to be modern poetry. Magic and you change readings. Uh, a day in Dennis. We can make a day in. Den no, I don't like really actually that. Loki, I think all of these are. Um, I think all of these are modern, probably. Okay, so okay, let's uh, let's do that. So we need some philosophers. We need. Um, okay, I actually had a philosopher who wrote. The, uh, did you, um, when I, who was that that wrote, um, Recurses of Imperialism, Rowan Dendeel. Um, or let's just say, hey, Rowan Dendeel, um, you, you wrote Recurses of Imperialism, uh, you know what, she's also, Rowan's also gonna throw a show her hand, and actually she, and she likes one of them better, and uh, she also wrote Layers of Being. Uh, so, maybe her comparison of these two schools of thought maybe isn't as unbiased as you thought, considering uh, she wrote, she's a recursivist. Um, alright, so Rowan and Teal, uh, other philosophers, let's just make some new philosophers. I'll probably add these philosophers to this once we actually do that a bit more. Um, so, uh, so um, men and women are typically that. Um, Elman, the um, third gender uh, in the society, they'll typically either go for more traditional, like Ilwin names, because uh, um, or it will be um, letter swapped modern names, 
or uh, just names that are actually kind of like considered to be gender neutral in our th in in current times. So that's kind of three. Um, all right, so let's you know, let's have the archipelago. Um, let's have this be. Um, uh, this is by uh, Professor William. Uh, and then last names are more traditional Ilwin. Um, well, traditional Ilwin to uh, some modern ones, if depending on when their name, their family split apart. Um, this kind of idea is like families exist, but if they they actually like really stay very close together, but if they get too big, they'll usually fracture off, and the fracture places will usually choose a more modern name. Um, let's go with um, uh, winded. Professor William Winded, um, and let's also have it not be weirdly done. There we go. All right, so Professor Ning, so theories of realities, um, this is a pretty generic one. Um, times of realities. You know, we can actually probably make this one a pre, a pre day um, book, or at least like an early one. Um, uh, G. You know, Jill, Jail, Jail. Um, no, I don't like that. Jewelial, Jewelial. Um, sure, Jewel of uh, Farndwin. Jira Farndwin. Farndwin was one of the um, provinces of the Ilmen Empire on on Ilwa's Grace, and Jewel of Farndwin is fine. Uh, luxury of print. This is going to be a recent one, probably to be a the answer. Um, and then we, we could probably even make it into like a, make it one of the senior male bibliomancers. Um, because we do have a few of the senior, we have two named senior bibliomancers, but we're not going to make it be either Josephine Hughes or Little Darian. Um, uh, do do do. How about, um, let's go with like, Christopher, uh, who would make a book like Christopher, uh, by Pi Pilerius, Christopher Pilerius, senior bibliomancer. Cool. Most of these names, I don't stress over how dumb they sound because they're just a person here. Eh, okay, uh, Youth and Chaos, uh, this can just be a throwaway name, is just some young adult author. Uh, I mean, it's probably someone who does like, it's, uh, let's, let's call, uh, Leuden, uh, uh, a Leuden, a Leuden, Lui. um, the consonant W sound is one of the defining portions of kind of like one of the, those constructs. Uh, Leuden, um, would have been it's an Elman name, uh, Yep, right, so Lament for Twelm. Uh, this is probably be a penitent person, so they're probably not, they definitely don't have Ilwin names, but they also may not have modern names. Um, how about just fours? Just fours of Twelm. Sure, your fours of Twelm. Uh, magic and you. This is probably be some high level one. Honestly, this is probably a people answer who wrote this as well, because, I mean, when it comes to knowing generally about magic, it's going to be a bibliomancer, because most of the majors are were specialized, so it's probably going to be a bibliomancer. Um, uh, but probably not one of the senior ones, because senior ones would not l lower themselves to being like, oh, let's write a book for the layman. Uh, no, this this is going to be actually for probably just a normal bibliomancer, so let's, um... I just want Natalie, stuff like that. Yeah, Natalie. Natalie Drummond's uh, Bibliomancer. Cool. 
uh, strange beginnings. Okay, this is gonna be probably... It's probably not a religious person because they wouldn't, like, it would be more of a criticism of them, so it's probably more of a um, professor, or, like a sociologist, uh, or just a general scholar. Uh, let's call it a professor... Uh, Winniel, um, Professor Winniel Cordron, um, sure. Uh, Dane Dennis, uh, you know, this one, Anon, Anonymous, is that his one, Anonymous? I don't, don't mind me. Well, I, I always have to look how I spell anonymous. I f always feel, nope, I did not spell it correctly. Um, it is spelled, yep, I never didn't have it. Yep, there we go. And finally, the throes of Rin. It's probably some historian. Uh, let's call it, uh, mm mm-hmm. Do we have any, like, historians that make sense to have, like, a specialist on, like, pre... Uh, professor of History, Christine other Baron, Eowyn Historian... You know, Kenrith, Kenneth of the Leon Historical Institute, like, gosh, no, no, he's more of, he's more of, like, a history of literature person, so that doesn't make sense. Um... You don't really have any good, like, last day, I think, so let's make a new person. Um, let's just make it a scholar, not a professor. So let's go with like a uh, Pippin. Pippin when weird. There we go. All right, scholar. And I mean, not doing the premium ones because gotta keep that secret and illusion. <laughs> Um, but there we go. This is our, uh, books, and that's ten more books, and it'll be tonight, and as I publish essentially the edition, well, this version, which is, I believe, 1.1.2, and, uh, adds, I, which I essentially added this portion, and it added the d ability to move forward the day and the data structure besides keeping track of the date and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I do this every night. That said, when I don't have to talk about what I'm doing, it's a fair bit faster. Uh, but uh, slowly, surely, I can do things. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, I mean, uh, you seem to like the first version of this, so do you still want to keep seeing uh, kind of part of this, like, these different aspects of this development? And uh, let me know. And also, as always, if you're actually in if you're interested in following the stuff on this project, I'll link the Twitter that is kind of like where I'm, I'm managing that right now, but I'm kind of like talking about things about the project and stuff like that if you want to get more updates. And uh, finally, uh, if you're actually interested in helping, uh, check out the channel Discord and just message me there and I'll be like, if you want to help out with this project, um, like even if it's like, hey, I want to write some books for this or because like a little bit of creative writing, like honestly, if you could take any help we can get. Um, and I can then send you an invite over to the development server, um, the development discord. But, uh, yeah. Well, until then, I hope you have a wonderful night with wonderful dreams. And as always, may your story smile upon you. <laughs>